Welcome to the Ogles Champions watching today. Now, I'm not really a tech channel in uh, any form or fashion. I'm a gaming channel uh, for like 90% of the channel. But um, one thing I depend on a lot is my MacBook, and I accidentally dropped it off the bed earlier today. When I dropped it off the bed, the display completely went out. And I had like a backlight behind it, but I didn't have any um, screen as far as like information on it. I could plug into an external monitor, worked completely fine, but I could never get an image to appear on the actual MacBook. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about like what I did to fix the problem because I fixed it without having to take it anywhere. I don't have any sort of like, you know, background with technology, anything like that. I just like to piddle around sometimes with electronics and I decided to piddle around and I'm going to tell you how I fixed it. All right. So the first thing you're going to have to do here is take the back of the computer off and um, you have to have a special type of screwdriver. You can get those on Amazon. I actually had one lying around the house from working on like old iPhones and such, but I'll put a link in the description down below of like which screwdriver you would need. And the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to disconnect the uh, battery from the logic board. And it's this little piece right here. And what you're going to have to do is just simply get under there and peel it back and it pops out. I used a little tool to get it apart. I used this little tool, let's see, right here. And you can see you, these come with the uh, screwdriver packs usually. I just got right under there, peeled it off, and once it was off, you've disconnected the power. At that point, I do recommend opening the computer back up and just holding the power button down for like... 10 or 15 seconds and at that point you've drained the battery and you don't have to worry about like you know missing up the electronics of the board or i guess like fried it or anything like that um and then of course right up here you have what's called the ribbon cable it is what connects the screen information to your motherboard and all you have to do here is you have a little um, piece of black plastic at the front of it you just simply take that and you just sort of peel it up and then you pop it back and then you just simply pull the ribbon cable out Usually if you just simply hold by the little metal parts there, you can just sort of pull it out, wiggle it out. And once it's out, I suggest leaving it out for like, I don't know, maybe a minute or two. That's probably how long it's out for me. And then just when you put it back in there, make sure it's lined up perfectly and you really push it in there well. I think that's what's popped out when a lot of these errors tend to happen. After you've pushed it back in there, you've fastened it back down. All you have to do is plug the uh, logic board back in right here, the battery into the logic board, flip the computer back around, all right, so you got the computer flipped back over now, and you're going to want to do what's called a SMC reset. To do this, all you got to do is press Control, Option, and Shift, and you simply press them all together, and then press the power button right after that, and then you simply let it go. You don't have to like hold it down, or anything like that. Just simply once you press the power button, let it go, and it'll do the uh, SMC reset. After that, you're going to want to do what's called a PRAMI. In order to do this, all you have to do is simply hold down the power button at the same time as Command option and p and r and i'm holding the phone with one hand so i can't press them all at once but once you press all of those down you hold it and you're going to hear a little chime of the computer starting up you know you're going to continue to hold it even after the chime it's going to sort of shut back down it's going to come back on again you hear the chime again once you hear that second chime let go of all the buttons except for the option key and once you let go of that all the buttons except for the option key the computer just powers up it's back to normal now some of your settings might be reset as far as like you know your battery settings and things like that but your computer at that point just like my computer should be completely functionable again now if it's anything beyond that it's probably like an actual damage to the screen it's like cracked or um, something far beyond just like the ribbon cable but for me this worked absolutely perfect and all you had to do is simply disconnect the ribbon cable disconnect the battery from the logic board and simply do the smc and the PRAMI reset and it worked perfectly this is like a 10 minute fix and of course put the battery cover back on when you're done and you've successfully fixed your broken screen but like i said guys this is not a tech channel i just want to put the video out there to possibly help anybody who might have a broken mac screen and so uh, hopefully this helped you out a little bit if it did you know give a like to this video subscribe to the channel hopefully you enjoy some game content as well but as always go out there find a great game to play and just simply have a great rest of the day